Hey there. I've been thinking about planning a trip to Jerba from Tunisia. Have you ever been there? Oh, absolutely. Jerba is a fantastic destination. I visited last year, and it was an incredible experience. The island has a rich history, beautiful landscapes, and a unique cultural blend. That sounds amazing. What are the must-visit places in Jerba? Well, first and foremost, you have to explore the historic sites. The El Griba Synagogue is a must-visit. It's one of the oldest synagogues in the world. The architecture is stunning, and the history behind it is fascinating. That sounds intriguing. I love exploring historical sites. What else is there to see? The Humtsuk is another gem. It's the main town and port of Jirba, and the market is bustling with life. You can find traditional crafts, spices, and all kinds of local products. It's a great place to immerse yourself in the local culture. I've heard about the beautiful beaches in Jirba. Any recommendations? Absolutely! Jirba is famous for its pristine beaches. One of my favorites is City Mars Beach. The golden sand and clear blue waters are just mesmerizing. It's a perfect spot for relaxation and water activities. That sounds like a dream. Are there any water sports or activities you'd recommend? Oh, definitely. You can try windsurfing, jet skiing, or even take a boat trip to explore the coastline. The waters are so inviting, and there are plenty of opportunities for both adventure and relaxation. Nice. I'm also interested in the local cuisine. Any standout dishes or restaurants? Jerba is a paradise for food lovers. You have to try the local couscous, especially the one with fish. The seafood is incredibly fresh. Also, don't miss out on the famous Jerbean Fricasse, a delightful fried sandwich with tuna, olives, and harissa. My taste buds are already excited. How about the nightlife? Any recommendations for a good time after sunset? The nightlife in Jerba is vibrant, especially in Humtsuk. There are cafes and bars along the waterfront where you can enjoy the evening breeze. Some places even offer traditional music and dance performances, giving you a taste of the local entertainment scene. Sounds like a well-rounded experience. What about accommodations? Any specific recommendations for hotels or resorts? There are plenty of options to suit every budget. If you're looking for a luxurious experience, Radisson Blue Yulis Resort in Palazzo is fantastic. For a more budget-friendly stay, Hotel Jerba Playa Club is a good choice. The island caters to various preferences. Thanks for the suggestions. How's the transportation within the island? Getting around Jerba is quite convenient. You can rent a car, hire a taxi, or use public transportation. The island isn't too large, so it's easy to explore different areas. Just be sure to plan your itinerary well to make the most of your time. That's helpful advice. I'm getting more and more excited about this trip. Any tips or things I should keep in mind while visiting Jerba? One thing to remember is to respect the local customs and traditions. Jerba has a unique cultural identity, and it's essential to be mindful of that. Also, be sure to check the weather before your trip and pack accordingly. The Mediterranean climate can vary. Great tips. I'll make sure to keep those in mind. Thanks for sharing your insights and recommendations. I can't wait to experience Jerba for myself. You're welcome! I'm sure you'll have an amazing time. Jerba has a way of capturing the hearts of its visitors. Safe travels, and enjoy every moment. I appreciate all the information. It's been really helpful in planning my trip. One more thing, any lesser known gems or hidden spots on the island that you discovered during your visit? Absolutely! While the major attractions are fantastic, there are some hidden gems worth exploring. I stumbled upon Gilala Museum, which showcases traditional pottery and artifacts. It's a quiet place with a lot of charm, and you get a glimpse into the local craftsmanship. That sounds intriguing. I love discovering unique, off-the-beaten-path places. Anything else you'd recommend in that vein? Well, there's a small village called Ariad, known for its street art. The Jirbahud project transformed the village into an open-air art gallery, with murals and graffiti by artists from around the world. It's a fascinating blend of tradition and contemporary art. Street art in a traditional village, that's a must-see for me. Thanks for sharing these hidden treasures. Moving on, what's the best time of the year to visit Jirba? The spring and fall seasons are ideal. During these times, the weather is pleasant, not too hot, 
and you can fully enjoy outdoor activities. Summer can get quite hot, but if you love the sun and want to make the most of the beaches, it's still a great time to visit. Good to know. I'll plan my trip accordingly. Speaking of planning, any resources or travel guides you found particularly useful when preparing for your visit? I found online travel forums and blogs to be incredibly helpful. Reading about the experiences of fellow travelers, their recommendations, and even some cautionary advice gave me a well-rounded perspective. Also, don't forget to check travel apps for maps, local tips, and real-time updates. Thanks for the advice. I'll make sure to do some research on those platforms. Now, let's talk about the local people. Did you have any memorable interactions with the residents of Jerba? Absolutely! The people in Jerba are warm and welcoming. I had some delightful conversations with locals in cafes and markets. If you're open to it, consider joining in on some local activities or festivals. It's a fantastic way to connect with the community. That sounds wonderful. I always enjoy getting to know the local culture and meeting new people. How about the language barrier? Did you find English to be widely spoken, or is knowledge of French or Arabic beneficial? While you can find English speakers, especially in tourist areas, it's beneficial to know a few basic phrases in French or Arabic. The locals appreciate the effort, and it can enhance your overall experience. Language can be a bridge to deeper connections and understanding. Yes, I felt very safe throughout my visit. Jerba is known for its hospitality and a generally peaceful environment. Like any travel destination, it's always wise to stay vigilant and be aware of your surroundings, but overall, I found it to be a secure place to explore. Good to hear. Safety is a top priority for me. I think I've gathered a wealth of information for my trip to Jerba. Thanks so much for sharing your experiences and insights. My pleasure. I'm excited for you and your upcoming adventure. Jerba is truly a special place, and I hope you create fantastic memories. If you have any more questions as you plan, feel free to reach out. Safe travels! Will do. Thanks again, and I'll be sure to share my experiences when I return. Take care. I'll be looking forward to hearing about your trip. Before you go, let me mention one more thing. If you have the time, consider exploring the surrounding areas of Jerba as well. The mainland of Tunisia has some incredible destinations like Carthage, Tunis, and the ancient ruins of Duga. It could add another layer to your overall Tunisian experience. That's a great suggestion. I'll keep that in mind and see if I can extend my trip to explore more of Tunisia. It's always nice to make the most of a journey. By the way, did you use any local transportation options, like the Lawage or Share taxis, while moving around Tunisia? Absolutely. Lawages are a convenient and cost-effective way to travel between cities. They are shared minibuses that operate on fixed routes. It's a unique experience and a chance to interact with locals during your journey. Just be sure to check the schedules in advance. Sounds like a practical option. I'll make a note to look into Lawages when planning my intercity travels. Now, switching gears a bit, did you have any memorable cultural experiences or festivals during your time in Jerba? Yes, I was fortunate to visit Jerba during the Griba pilgrimage, an annual Jewish pilgrimage to the Al Griba synagogue. It's a unique event that attracts visitors from different faiths. The vibrant atmosphere, traditional music, and the coming together of people for this celebration were truly memorable. That sounds incredible. Experiencing a cultural event like that adds such depth to a trip. I'll check if there are any festivals or events happening around my travel dates. Moving on to practicalities, did you find the local currency exchange services easily accessible in Jerba? Yes, there are plenty of banks and exchange offices in the main towns, especially in Humtsuk. However, it's a good idea to exchange some currency before arriving or at the airport for convenience. Also, many places accept credit cards, but it's wise to have some local currency on hand, especially in more remote areas. Good to know. I'll make sure to have a mix of payment options for different situations. Lastly, any particular items or souvenirs from Jerba that you recommend bringing back? Jerba is known for its vibrant handicrafts. Look out for beautiful ceramics, handwoven carpets, and intricate jewelry. Olive oil products are also a popular souvenir. 
The markets in Humtsuk are excellent places to find unique items crafted by local artisans. Those sound like wonderful souvenirs. I'll definitely make time to explore the markets and pick up a few items to remember my trip. Thanks again for all the valuable information. I feel much more prepared and excited about my upcoming journey to Jirba. You're very welcome. I'm sure you'll have an amazing time. If you ever need more advice or have questions during your trip, don't hesitate to reach out. Safe travels and enjoy every moment in Jirba. I truly appreciate your kindness and willingness to share your experiences. It's been incredibly helpful, and I'll be sure to reach out if I have any more questions during my trip. Thanks again, and take care. It's been my pleasure. I'm glad I could assist you in planning your journey. Have a fantastic time in Jirba, and may your travels be filled with joy, discovery, and wonderful memories. Bon voyage. Absolutely. I'll be sure to share my experiences. Goodbye for now, and take care. Hey there. I'm back from Jirba, and I couldn't wait to tell you all about my trip. It was truly amazing. Welcome back. I'm so excited to hear all about it. Tell me, how was your experience in Jirba? Oh, where do I begin? The moment I stepped off the plane, I was greeted by the warm breeze, and the beauty of the island unfolded before me. I followed your advice and visited the El Griba Synagogue, the history and architecture were captivating. I'm thrilled to hear you enjoyed it. Did you get a chance to explore any of the hidden gems we talked about, like Gilala Museum or the street art in Ariat? Yes, I did. Gilala Museum was a serene place filled with fascinating artifacts. And Ariad, that street art was like walking through a vibrant outdoor gallery. It added such a unique touch to the traditional village. That's fantastic. And what about the beaches and water activities? Did you get to experience the beauty of City Mars Beach? Absolutely. The golden sound and crystal clear waters were just as you described. I spent a day there, enjoying the sun, swimming, and even tried my hand at some water sports. It was pure bliss. I'm so glad to hear that. What about the local cuisine? Any standout dishes or restaurants that left an impression? The local cuisine was a highlight for me. I indulged in the traditional couscous with fish and the Jerbian fricasse, the flavors were exquisite. I also explored some local markets and tried different street foods. It was a culinary adventure. That sounds like a food lover's paradise. And did you get a chance to experience the nightlife in Humtsuk? I did. The evenings in Humtsuk were lively and filled with music. I found a charming waterfront cafe where I enjoyed some local music performances. It was the perfect way to unwind after a day of exploration. It sounds like you had a well-rounded experience. What about accommodations and transportation? How did that work out for you? I stayed at the Hotel Gerba Playa Club, as you suggested for a budget-friendly option. It was comfortable, and the location was convenient. I also used Lao Ages to travel between cities, it was an adventure in itself, meeting different people along the way. I'm glad the recommendations worked out for you. Did you explore beyond Jirba, perhaps some of the mainland attractions? Yes. Following your advice again, I extended my trip to visit Carthage, Tunis, and the ancient ruins of Duga. Each place had its own charm and added so much depth to my overall Tunisian experience. That's fantastic. It sounds like you made the most of your time in Tunisia. Any memorable cultural experiences or festivals during your visit? I coincidentally visited during the Griba pilgrimage, and it was an incredible experience. The atmosphere, the traditional music, it was like stepping into a different world. I felt privileged to be a part of such a unique celebration. That's serendipitous. And did you find the locals welcoming, and did language ever pose a challenge? The locals were incredibly warm and friendly. While many spoke English, knowing a few basic phrases in French and Arabic did enhance the interactions. It made the experience more authentic and allowed me to connect with people on a deeper level. It sounds like you had a wonderful and enriching journey. I'm so happy for you. Any particular souvenirs or items you brought back from Gerba? I couldn't resist picking up some beautiful ceramics, a hand-woven carpet, and a piece of intricate jewelry from the markets. They were not just souvenirs, they were reminders of the incredible culture and artistry I experienced. That's lovely. 
your journey seems like a perfect blend of relaxation, exploration, and cultural immersion. Thank you for sharing your experiences with me. No, thank you. Your guidance was invaluable in making this trip so memorable. I can't wait to plan my next adventure. Until then, take care. You're very welcome. I'll be here whenever you're ready for the next adventure. Take care, and looking forward to hearing from you again. Safe travels. Absolutely, I'll be sure to share my experiences. Goodbye for now, and take care. I'm thrilled to hear you enjoyed it. Did you get a chance to explore any of the hidden gems we talked about, like Gilala Museum or the street art in Ariat? Yes, I did. Gilala Museum was a serene place filled with fascinating artifacts. And Ariad, that street art was like walking through a vibrant outdoor gallery. It added such a unique touch to the traditional village. That's fantastic. And what about the beaches and water activities? Did you get to experience the beauty of City Mars Beach? Absolutely. The golden sound and crystal clear waters were just as you described. I spent a day there, enjoying the sun, swimming, and even tried my hand at some water sports. It was pure bliss. I'm so glad to hear that. What about the local cuisine? Any standout dishes or restaurants that left an impression? The local cuisine was a highlight for me. I indulged in the traditional couscous with fish and the Gerbian fricasse. The flavors were exquisite. I also explored some local markets and tried different street foods. It was a culinary adventure. That sounds like a food lover's paradise. And did you get a chance to experience the nightlife in Humtsuk? I did. The evenings in Humtsuk were lively and filled with music. I found a charming waterfront cafe where I enjoyed some local music performances. It was the perfect way to unwind after a day of exploration. It sounds like you had a well-rounded experience. What about accommodations and transportation? How did that work out for you? I stayed at the Hotel Gerba Playa Club, as you suggested for a budget-friendly option. It was comfortable, and the location was convenient. I also used Lao Ages to travel between cities. It was an adventure in itself, meeting different people along the way. I'm glad the recommendations worked out for you. Did you explore beyond Gerba? Perhaps some of the mainland attractions? Yes. Following your advice again, I extended my trip to visit Carthage, Tunis, and the ancient ruins of Duga. Each place had its own charm and added so much depth to my overall Tunisian experience. That's fantastic. It sounds like you made the most of your time in Tunisia. Any memorable cultural experiences or festivals during your visit? I coincidentally visited during the Griba pilgrimage, and it was an incredible experience. The atmosphere, the traditional music, it was like stepping into a different world. I felt privileged to be a part of such a unique celebration. That's serendipitous. And did you find the locals welcoming, and did language ever pose a challenge? The locals were incredibly warm and friendly. While many spoke English, Knowing a few basic phrases in French and Arabic did enhance the interactions. It made the experience more authentic and allowed me to connect with people on a deeper level. It sounds like you had a wonderful and enriching journey. I'm so happy for you. Any particular souvenirs or items you brought back from Gerba? I couldn't resist picking up some beautiful ceramics, a handwoven carpet, and a piece of intricate jewelry from the markets. They were not just souvenirs. They were reminders of the incredible culture and artistry I experienced. That's lovely. Your journey seems like a perfect blend of relaxation, exploration, and cultural immersion. Thank you for sharing your experiences with me. No, thank you. Your guidance was invaluable in making this trip so memorable. I can't wait to plan my next adventure. Until then, take care. You're very welcome. I'll be here whenever you're ready for the next adventure. Take care and looking forward to hearing from you again. Safe travels.